Welcome to day 3 of my Playa de Carmen vlog. Today I'll take you to Chitscaniza, eat a buffet lunch cooked by local Mayans, swim in a cenote, walk in a cathedral church, eat dinner at an awesome taco spot, and spending my last night here relaxing on Fish Street. Our tour guide stopped at a small place to grab us sandwiches for breakfast. This sandwich doesn't look like much, but it was so good. The hot sauce with it, that took it to another level. You'll see a lot of vendors walking into Chiscaniza. If you have to buy souvenirs, here is the best place to get them. They have cooler noisemakers that I didn't find anywhere else. Things they sell here are much cheaper than anywhere else. Just remember to haggle! And it tells us stories. It tells us that before there was anybody living here, it was jungle. Yeah, and then people came here, they said, ah, oh, cool, nice place. I'm going to cut down some trees, I'm going to build my little house. And then it became a huge city, eventually. And eventually they left the city. And when they left the city, um, jungle came back and started to ruin these buildings. In a way, it's sad because it did a lot of damage. If we look at it like this, and the way it sort of looked like, it did a lot of damage. But it is also cool because now we can cut these trees. You count the rings, you know how old the tree is, you find the oldest tree, and you know from which moment roughly the, the building was abandoned. And like this, we know that the flourishing time here was between 880 until 1200. Huh? You guys are from California. sitting and we see his knee pad mm -hmm. right, that we saw on, on the yeah. other guy but also we see he's carrying something in his hand the ancient Maya ball game called Pits was part of Maya political, religious, and social life. Played with a rubber ball ranging in size from that of a small softball to a soccer ball. Players would attempt to bounce the ball without using their hands through stone hoops attached to the side of the ball court. Yeah, there's a human head. In there. No, there's no girls. There's a snake bringing a human back to it. Chuck Mo, these figures possibly symbolize slain warriors carrying offerings to the gods. The bowl upon their chest was used to hold sacrificial offerings. It's often associated with sacrificial stones or thrones. El Chirico, which means snails in Spanish, is so named due to spiral staircase inside the tower. Here we see that they build layer over layer over layer. We see it perfectly. You see? In the front we see a triangular shaped wall. Yes. Behind the triangular shaped wall we see a wall that comes down around it. Behind that we see a building with a rounded corner. Mm -hmm. And we see it just a bit too big. Yeah. Bye bye. Chitskaniza. Yay, lunchtime! Some chips, soup. Lime and a little drop of the tomato sauce. <laughs> Chayitas, which is uh, corn dough with spinach. Or Mayan spinach, chaya. Dulce de papaya, like sweet papaya, sweetened papaya, and uh, sweet potato. And that's chicken cooked on the ground, very tender. Yeah, in that asiote. Very nice. And then we have pork meat cooked on the ground. So that's typical from here. Pork meat from the grill. Here with some purple onions. Here you have some purple onions from the grill. 
and chilled tomate. That's a grilled tomato with chili on it. A little bit. Puntos a la mexicana, beef. And pollo con mole. It's like a chocolate sauce with some chili in it. Different spices. That's very, very, very nice. This place was so good. My favorite was the moe chicken. All the meat was so tender, you could tell it's been cooking for a long time. It is right next to the Zasi Sinote. We walked there to take a look at it after lunch. During the time, we saw two huge tour bus loads of people unloading to hop into the Sinote. I wouldn't be able to enjoy it with so many people in the pool of water at the same time. That location has two Sinotes, Sinote Semula and Sinote Zikin. You pay $8 to get into both. Save parking lot and a trail to walk to both Sinote. Because I went with a tour, I was only able to get into one. So if you have your own car, it's a nice pit stop. I was happy our tour guide took us to the underground cave. It had way less people and we got there just on time to see the light shine inside the cave making it such a beautiful view of the cave. are the fishes that eat your dead skin. If you stay still, you can get a free pedicure. I wish I could have stayed longer to get my foot pedicure by them. Instead, stay tuned to day four of my fish pedicure experience. We're in downtown Velade. There wasn't much to do there. We had 45 minutes to walk around. We pretty much just checked out the church and then walked back to the van. There's a chocolate shop with AC where we cooled off and tried some chocolate to pass time. We booked this tour through TripAdvisor. It was the highest rated one. We had 12 people in our group, such a good size compared to the bus load we saw. Our tour guide Steve did such a great job explaining everything and taking us around. I love the food choices they picked out for us. I definitely will book another tour with them if I'm ever back. This place was so good. Things were made fresh to order, so it took a while for dishes to come out. The salmon was fresh and really good, but you have to get the Al Pastor octopus taco. I don't normally like octopus because it gets hard and chewy sometimes, but this octopus was so tender and tasty. I wish I could find a place like this back home.
thanks for watching my vlog of day 3. Follow the link to day 4. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Vlog you next time. Bye!